how you guys doing? This video here will be what I call my epoxy simplified 101 and the basics of understanding epoxy and epoxy flooring. I get a lot of people asking me, uh, man, how do you do uh, the floors or show me how to do the floors? And there's just a lot of questions I get about the epoxy floors. And this video would be me just breaking down um, the basics for somebody who is thinking about going out and doing it themselves. Um, a lot of it I, I want to touch on like um, just purchasing the product and knowing what to buy and different things like that because a lot of times I'll go out and, and bid jobs and People would think people um, sometimes think the prices are too high and different things like that, and that's pretty much because they don't understand epoxy floors. I like to describe it um, and compare it to buying a car. Um, when you go out and buy a car, you have a base model, which is the cheapest model. You um, you have a mid-grade model. And then you have a fully loaded model. And it is, it's epoxy floors are similar to that. You, you have a um, cheap version, which will be your box store version, um, water-based product. Then you may have a commercial grade product. And then you, you're gonna have an industrial grade product, which is, is what I deal with. Um, have did work for um, Eli Lilly's, Chrysler, GM, big name companies use the products that I use. So it's industrial grade, the top of the line, um, and that's what I use. So when people feel like my price is too high, um, it doesn't really bother me because I know what I'm providing. Like I said, a lot of people don't understand that about epoxy floors. They want the, the um, watered down, cheap price, but when it comes to durability and how long is it gonna last, they want that high end product and they don't understand that um, you got a um, cheap version which isn't any good you have a, maybe a medium grade, and then you have your top of the line, sort of like a car. So, if you're gonna go out and do it yourself, um, I suggest you kind of do some homework and research on the product that you're, that you're using. Um, deal with a lot of salesmen, and a sell, um, kind of do your own research. A salesman's job is to sell you things, and uh, it's not too many that I know that are trustworthy. They're gonna tell you what you want to hear to sell you different products, and um, just do your homework on the product that you're gonna that you're gonna be using. Um, some stuff, uh, pot life, that's important. Um, some stuff will get harder quicker than other stuff, and that's what I mean by pot life. Uh, it took me a while to find um, a product I was comfortable with using. That's another thing if you're gonna do it yourself. Um, spend a little money on um, a few products or try some stuff out on a small, small area to get familiar with that product because even though a lot of the products are the same, same characteristics, they also have different characteristics. Um, so just get familiar with whatever you're gonna use. Don't just, if you're gonna try the, the um, like a medium grade or a high end product. With the um, box store stuff, I mean, my son probably can put that down and use that. Um, but like I said, it won't last you any time. But when you get into the more commercial and industrial grade stuff, um, don't just go out and spend thousands of dollars on 
however much on the product and try to use it, get familiar with it first. Like I said, it took me a while. I've been doing this a while and it took me a while to find a good product that I was comfortable with because most of your, the better, I'll say this, the better the product, the, um, the faster you have to be at putting it down. I put down a product where 10 minutes is dry. So once you get into the high end stuff, you really gotta know what you're doing. So that's my take on um, on just the basics of understanding the epoxy floors. And a lot of people have got into um, doing the countertops. It's the same thing. Fill it out. Get a good product that you're comfortable working with. Because um, even though they're all the same, a lot of them have different characteristics. So familiarize yourself with whatever product you're using. And um, I have other videos showing examples of floors I've done. So you guys can check out those and I go more into depth in how to put them down. Uh, subscribe to my page. My page is CF Fun MJG. CF uh, one word, Fun MJG one word. So check out my videos, subscribe, like, give me some views. Thank you guys. And also uh, email me or you can uh, comment if you have any questions. I'm always willing to help somebody else out, answer any questions you guys have. Thank you.